But we got the great Kenton Bostic in the house, drummer extraordinaire. He has a very unique style that is his own, which is one of the the great things that, that I feel like are lacking now is your own vibe, your own style. Because you were playing a lot of Afrobeat yeah, stuff. Like Afro beat and music. that really yeah. kind of opened up the whole, you know, the whole thing, right? So talk right. a little bit about that, man. Well, you know, um, just being connected to, you know, the community of musicians in Atlanta, man, you know, gathering on um, and, and just uh, taken away from a lot of other cats that used to shit and, and play around, man. Taking different ideas from guys. So I, I don't know, man. It's a big uh, uh, collective thing, man. I, you know, I, I kind of drained a lot from cats like you and like little John Roberts. You know, the, the scene was available for it. You know what I mean? For right. like, being able to come and actually touch guys who were experimenting in different ways. Right. With different styles. You know, right. Was the thing that really kind of inspired. Like, yeah. right. What was your practice routine like in terms of just like, would you, were you doing like an hour a day, a couple hours a day? What were you kind of working on, man? And how much time did you spend in the practice? To be honest with you, man, it was whenever I could get the time to sit down and shit. Any time in between, any time I had free time to, wow. to, to discover things, you know? Okay. And, and to listen to music play along. Uh, recap certain albums. Uh, so you've been gracious enough, man, to, to to play at the church, you know, when and, and share the the, the the drum seat with at the at the church that I'm right, at now, right. which is the, you know Riverdale United Methodist. Man, mm -hmm. I can't thank you enough yeah. for bringing your talent Bro, there because you know, Sam uh, is a beautiful cat, man. Our our, our musical director and choir director, uh, and it's a family thing. Man. He's got his his wife, his sister. You know, there's a lot of. A lot of family and a lot of African um, uh, uh, culture that's in there, which is beautiful. Oh, acquired a blue pearl drum set. Uh huh. I heard about uh, this. Yeah. He said, "Kitten got him." I was like, "Oh, hey, man. hey, we have to keep him in the family." <laughs> man, I'm They're so <laughs> I'm so glad though. So I passed those on to my buddy John Charlton. Okay. Okay. So uh, Larry got them uh -huh. from there. I don't know how you got. Now how did you get them? That's what I want to know. Uh, Larry. Larry told me he said, "Hey man, you got a few days before I post them. If you want them, let me know. You can't get better than us." Uh, I, I, I maple sound, man. Like maple maple pearls. I, 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 I mean, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> as soon as they started, I heard. I was like, damn, I shouldn't have let those go. <laughs> right. You know, hey, whenever you want to borrow, we can. <laughs> I'm That's still glad like, you got them, dude. Couldn't have gone to a better cat. Right. And, uh, you know, just take good care of them, man. Yeah, and if, hey, but if you move off of them, let them come back home, yeah, yeah. brother. We'll find them. Let, no, no, no. Let them go. Come, come back home. Let them okay. come back home. Let them come back home. Let them come back home. Gotcha, gotcha. Hey, man. man. Let them let you go enjoy the show. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, yeah, man, man, for blessing us. And we'll catch up with you soon, man. Kent Bostic, y'all.